cops on the other side of that line who were defending the Capitol. As you said, he was shown here wielding a pipe. That pipe was eventually wrestled away by the officer, but not before Webster in the red here. You can see him throwing that cop to the ground. There are pictures of him grabbing at the officer's face. This is just one of the many brutal scenes from January 6th. And well, it's the other thing is, you know, what are they doing to the term patriot? I mean, to be called a patriot used to be a great thing. Now, I feel like it puts you in the league with insurrectionists. And you know darn well that if this was BLM or if this was actually Antifa or if this was Muslims that did this, you know, and I tell you, I guarantee you, Paul Gosar would be the one defending the action of that officer uh, instead of calling that officer, who in my mind is a hero, a murderer. And th That's exactly right. Had the January 6th insurrection been committed by anybody on the left, the Republican Party would have completely lost their minds in defense of Capitol Police using deadly force. Hey, what's up, everybody? I'm Jackson White, co-founder and chief of content at Politoscope, and thanks for tuning in with us today at TYT. Now, we all know why the Republican Party won't defend Capitol Police and why they refuse an investigation into the insurrection, simply because they know the right wing's to blame for it. You see, the Republican Party only backs the blue when it's of benefit to their political agenda. But whenever anything is not in line with that agenda, it's no good. Crickets, silence, they're nowhere to be found. And that's because this is not a party of real beliefs and values. The Republican Party simply adheres to the pursuit of power for the sake of power alone. The GOP is a party of racist authoritarians who are a true threat to the fabric of democracy in this country. But on the most basic level, it's a voting rights question. In a democracy, one person equals one vote. If you change the population, you dilute the political power of the people who live there. So every time they import a new voter, I become disenfranchised as a mm. current voter. So I don't understand why we don't understand this. I mean, everyone wants to make a racial issue out of it. Ooh, the you know white replacement theory. No, no, no. This is a voting rights question. I have less political power because they're importing a brand new electorate. Why should I sit back and take that? The power that I have yeah. as an American guaranteed at birth is one man, one vote, and they're diluting it. No, they're not allowed to do that. They certainly don't incite violence. Knock the crap out of them. Like to punch him in the face. I don't condone violence, and uh, I don't talk about violence. Well, I would have done well, but I would have been boom, 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 I'll beat that. I don't know if I'll do the fighting myself or if other people will. Maybe he should have been roughed up because it was absolutely disgusting what he was doing. If you see somebody getting ready to throw a tomato, knock the crap out of him, would you? Seriously. I'd like to punch him in the face, I'll tell you. Try not to hurt him. If you do, I'll defend you in court. Don't worry about it. In the good old days, this doesn't happen because they used to treat them very, very rough. And when they protested once, you know, they would not do it again so easily. We've become weak. We've become weak. To the German people and to any population of people that is a declining population that doesn't, isn't willing to have enough babies to reproduce themselves. And I've said to them, you cannot rebuild your civilization with somebody else's babies. You've got to keep your birth rate up. There, you know, their, their effort here is to be celebrating because the United States is moving towards becoming the whites, becoming a a minority, be a majority minority within the country according to their plan. This is an effort on the left, I think, to break down the American civilization and the American culture and turn it into something entirely different. So I talked to Keith Ellison about that, who would be the lead Muslim in Congress. And uh, for everyone who's a valedictorian, there's another hundred out there that um, they weigh 130 pounds and they've got calves the size of cantaloupes because they're hauling 75 pounds of marijuana across the desert. He's adding up Hispanics and blacks, and he predicts will be in greater number than whites in America. I will predict the Hispanics and the blacks will be fighting each other before that happens. A Muslim American, mm -hmm. an Italian American, a Christian American, a Jewish American, you do realize that they are all equal, right? They are all the same thing. We don't need babies from one of those groups more than we need them from other groups. Do you agree with that? Well, I would say that it Why do you on pause the, the on a question like families. that, Congressman? The Republican Party endlessly exploits the police force, the military, the entirety of the working class. 
the small business community, farmers and agricultural workers, pretty much anyone who isn't a part of the utmost upper class. But today, we're specifically focusing on their patriotic pandering and how it's used to continuously win over the votes of rural right Americans. You see, their refusal to acknowledge their role in the January 6th insurrection shows they only support anything along partisan lines, even police officers. If it doesn't go along with far right-wing rhetoric and propaganda, it's no good. And how about their support for the military, or rather their blind allegiance to the profits of the military-industrial complex? Because you see, if they were so pro-life and so for the boys and girls in military, they wouldn't be so anxious to support every single conflict, every single battle, every single anything that we can get our boots on the ground for, or our drones in the air for.